Hi, we're the team from Marco Academy, and this is our first place winning recipe of black bean taquitos. I'm gonna show you the process on how we do the, the fruit bowl. This portion's pretty much the easiest part because it's essentially just a seasoned fruit salad. So first we dice all of our fruit. Each of them, we have watermelon, mango, pineapple, and honeydew. Since you usually buy fruit in whole sizes, we kind of recommend one of each except for the mangoes. We kind of do two of those so you can have like a pretty even ratio. The mangoes and the pineapple are usually what we want the most of though, because they have like the highest acid. And so it balances the best with our tahini. And tahini's where most of the flavor comes from because it adds a very limey, but also peppery kind of bite that doesn't kind of ruin the flavor of the fruit. Um, this is a very like cultural recipe for me because it's something I grew up eating a lot. I have like a Hispanic origin. So I wanted, when we did the real food for kids challenge, I wanted to make sure I pushed that kind of cuisine onto the challenge. So we have our diced fruit here. So what we're gonna wanna do is like throw all of our, uh, I'm gonna throw a little bit less in since we don't have as much tahini, but we're gonna throw, I'm about to throw two mangoes, about a, four, a fourth of a watermelon. And then we have our honeydew and pineapple mixed together here. Kind of mix it together. Just make sure that the spice gets kind of evenly coated all over all of your fruits. That's about it, it's pretty simple. So we're gonna do a vegetable side dish that we did with our taquito. So in here we have some squash that's cut up, some onions, some bell peppers, um, and we're gonna mix it with my spice mix that I made at home. It is a mix of lime powder, which you can buy on Amazon or anywhere, uh, some cumin, some uh, oregano, and some salt and pepper. So we're just gonna, you're gonna dice all your vegetables the same size, pretty much. You know, you gotta get, keep the squash and everything the same size as everything else because it will take longer to cook and we don't want other stuff to burn. So we're just gonna take that, put a bit of oil on it, right? I'm using uh, canola oil, but you can use whatever oil as long as it doesn't have uh, too strong of a flavor. And then we're just gonna put a bit of the spice blend on there, mix it up. Now try to get it all evenly coated. And then we're gonna go to a sheet tray. I have a half sheet tray here. I like to put parchment paper on it so the vegetables don't stick to it when they caramelize in the oven. So we're just gonna lay these out on the tray. Okay, so now we're gonna put it in the oven. The oven is preheated to 350. Um, our oven is a convection oven, so at home we might have to do 375 or 400 because they don't cook as hot and as fast as ours. So we're just gonna put this in and in about 25, 30 minutes, we should have the vegetables done. So these are vegetables once they come out of the oven. Um, I stirred them two or three times while they're in the oven, you know, just make sure it's browning evenly on all sides. And you can see the squash is tender and there's a bit of browning and caramelization on the whole vegetables. What I love about this recipe is I think it really kind of represents our county, our school district as a whole. You know, our school district is like 41% people from Latin origin and our recipe really reflects that. When we're first making the filling, we'll put the refried beans in and then we'll season it to taste. After that, we'll add in our onions, our jalapeno and our corn. The jalapeno peppers, we roast them beforehand to give it a nice smoky flavor. And the refried bean filling will get heat up before we actually wrap it into the tortilla. In the actual filling, we use the chili powder, cumin, lime powder, and adobo seasoning. And adobo just gives it a nice salty, garlicky flavor. In this pan here, I have some oil already, and it's sitting on some medium to medium high heat. And you just wanna scoop a little bit and you wanna put it in slowly. When it starts sizzling, you wanna lower the heat. For consistency, you want it to be nice and creamy. You don't want it to be too thick or too watery because later we're going to actually fill the tortillas and you have to make sure it's a nice, spreadable consistency. And if it's too watery, it's going to actually fall out of the tortilla when you're baking it. I like this so much because there's a variety of textures. In the black bean taquito, we have a very nice, creamy filling. It has a nice, like a zesty flavor. We also added in lime powder. So the lime powder actually gives it a really nice citrusy boost to it. Spicy as well from the jalapeno, not too much, but it actually gives it a really nice kick with the peppers. So here I have some whole wheat tortillas. You can use flour or corn tortillas if you like. Um, I have some shredded cheese here and this is Monterey Jack cheese. We're gonna start off with just putting the cheese down first, just a little bit. And then with a spoon, you're gonna scoop some filling up and you're gonna spread it out on top of the cheese. You're gonna fold it over on both sides and then you're gonna lay it down on your sheet tray. 
Here we have some canola oil and a brush, maybe a spoon would be fine too if you don't have a brush. You're just gonna brush them on top so that it gets nice and crispy in the oven. So we wrapped the taquitos already. These are going in the oven. Um, it's preheated to 350 and they're going in for about seven to 10 minutes in our oven. The uh, taquitos are fully cooked through, but we wanna add some browning on top for crispiness and flavor. So we're gonna put these in a salamander, which is essentially the same thing as your home broiler in your ovens. By putting cheese on top of the taquitos, the salamander is gonna make it brown up. But this is the completed meal. We have our taquito on the right here, our veggies, and then our uh, chili con fruta. And then we do the sour cream on top of the vegetables and the taquito. Heavy pinch of cilantro on the veggies and the taquito too. We like a lot of cilantro because of the lemony bite on it. Thanks for watching. The recipe will be in the description box below.